Hello, in this video I will show you how you can create attractive subscription forms for your sales card store and automatically synchronize them with your MailChimp account. Uh, for example, we have created a subscription form and subscribe a customer here. Let's click subscribe and go to the MailChimp account. Uh, here is a list as it is now. Let's refresh it. And now you can see that one more person was included into the list. Now let's go to the admin panel and I will show you the configuration of the add-on. First, I will show you the advanced mailing list settings. It's in marketing advanced mailing lists. Here you can configure uh, the settings of the add-on. Uh, for example, uh, where the information will be collected. Uh, so you can give a name to the list. Now you should choose the name of the list in your MailChimp account. Uh, there might be an unlimited number of lists, so you can create separate lists for checkout, uh, for the category page, for the home page, and so on. Also, you can choose uh, when the information will be collected. For example, subscription on page form. For example, on the contact us form or, for example, at registration or checkout. Let's see the settings. Please don't forget to check those checkboxes, because if you do not uh, check them, uh, the form will not appear at the storefront. Now let's go to the fields mapping. Uh, the fields mapping allows you to match the fields from your sales card store with the fields from your MailChimp account. So, for example, you can uh, choose here the first name and the first name. Let's save and go to the design layouts and I will show you how you can con configure the block for the subscription. Choose a layout. Now let's choose um, a page. For example, I created this form for the home page. Let's create a form for the category page. I go here, add a block. First, I will add a grid, for instance, like this. And now let's add a new block. Create a new block. Let's find here the MailChimp subscription form. Yeah, here it is. Uh, for example, category. As we have placed this form on the category pages. Template, pop-up or sign-up form. For example, pop-up. And settings, where you would like it to be. On the left, uh, on the right, if it should be shown on the mobile devices. And you can also write here your content. So, for example, subscribe. Get free newsletters. With latest trends. Any other text you would like to have here, for example, 20% discount. For subscribers. Email placeholder, if you would like it to be here. And the button text. For example, subscribe. Let's create. Okay, a block has been created. Let's move it here together with the grid. I'll remove the recently viewed. I'd like them here. Okay, um, now let's take a look.
as I have already told you, the block will not appear unless you go to website, marketing, advanced mailing lists, and now you have to create a mailing list for this particular block. So, for example, category. Uh, subscribe on via subscribe from blocks settings and now we have to choose our block category fields mapping first name let's add last name and for example email address let's create and we also should check the general settings. Please don't forget to place a tick here. Save. And now let's see what has changed. Let's go to a category page. And here is our subscription pop-up. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to ask me if you have any questions about the MailChimp Advanced add-on. Goodbye!